Hey, sorry, how do we know each other? Just a couple classes. This year? Lisa's this girl who doesn't love herself very much. She doesn't think she matters very much. And she brings this guy back from the dead. It changes everything about her. The fact that someone listens. Can you hear me? She has lost her mother, and everybody just wants her to move on. Falling in love with this dead man allows her to literally embrace her grief. He is like the sweetest like vulnerability. This perfect Prince Charming covered in mud. Your hand? He just lets her be her. I'm not afraid of death anymore. Mm -mm. But I don't want to die a virgin. The theme of young women sort of coming into their power and perhaps being corrupted by it is something that I have visited time and time again in my work. I do live vicariously through the characters that I create. Lisa is probably the most powerless, the most submissive lead that I've ever written, so it was especially satisfying to watch her become confident and murderous even. <laughs> I really wanted to find someone that not only could carry a whole film, but could do so with so much humor. And Catherine had this delightful, silly energy. Welcome to 1989. She's hilarious and very talented at what she does. I can't imagine how this movie would have lived without her. She cares a lot, which is the most reassuring thing you can ask for with someone you're working with. I have the cure. Mm. Oh, no. It's not that kind of cure. What I love about the creature is he literally is doing ev anything and everything for this girl that he has fallen in love with, yet she cannot see it because he's not able to verbally express it. He's yearning to be there for the person that he loves. They fulfill a really lovely thing for each other. I mean, also a very unhinged thing for each other, but I'm very fond of the idea that she comes to love him and he's patient in waiting for that to happen. He wants to be her protector and, and try to make her feel heard and understood, and she's trying to heal. I think he's trying to show, as, through just movement and action, really, that he's deeply in love with her, or at the, at the bare minimum, incredibly <laughs> grateful for what she's done. <laughs> the creature was always going to be an interesting part to cast, because he's a male lead who doesn't speak. And I wasn't sure how many men were going to be gung-ho about that. But I've known Cole for years now. I wanted him to go and take mime classes, and he ended up loving it so much. When I was a kid, I always wanted to play a monster. Always wanted to play a monster. Creature is a very different kind of monster. I knew it would be a heavy physical role, and I had worked very extensively to try and break down his movements into really five sequences. Every time he steps into the tanning booth and gets a new body part back, he enters into a new phase that is more human than the last. He's going back into his Victorian etiquette, and then only very rarely does he break the etiquette when, when the mask sort of falls away, when the grace sort of falls away, and he becomes what looks to be a much more modern, emotional, vulnerable person. We have a great thing, and he's just been a really good scene partner. He lets me try things, he lets me express myself, and he's so intelligent. Cole had so much fun, I think, as well, finding a physicality that felt like a, a whole human being. Like, he's literally missing pieces, but he was, he had such a blast finding that version of a man, of like this guy who is actively trying to be put back together again by someone. Hey! Don't kirk out on me, man! They also have this kind of symbiotic relationship where he gets rid of people that she no longer needs in her life, and she, in turn, supplies him with body parts. You know, is it a dysfunctional relationship? Yes. But it's also, I think, quite beautiful. It's been a dream. Cole and I keep talking about how I don't think we'll ever do anything this weird and great again, because nobody does anything like this anymore. We are not holding back. We're just taking a risk. So it's been fun. How good did that take, huh? Yeah. Okay.